What is going on guys, Willis Gaming here, we are back with another Daily Destiny video. We are back again with some more exclusive House of Wolves content. In this video you're going to be seeing a new strike coming in the House of Wolves called the Shadow Thief. Uh, it's basically like the Archon Priest V2, but uh, you're fighting him on the moon and in a spaceship. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to support it by leaving a like down below. It's very much appreciated. If we can smash over a thousand likes on this video, that'll be freaking awesome. Also, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys are thinking of the new House of Wolves. So I'm going to be doing a full commentary over this whole strike. Obviously, the strike takes around 20 minutes to complete, but I did chop it down in some parts. We were just walking to the next place. But I did include the most interesting bits. But if you guys don't like that, there'll be a full link to an unedited version in the description down below. Just go down, click it, and you can watch the whole thing without my commentary. So, I recorded this footage in Seattle with a bunch of other YouTubers. So, on my team, you'll be seeing Easy Now 1337 and DPJ. So, we're on the moon, and as soon as you spawn in, there'll be two Shriekers. Kill the two Shriekers, and you basically have to fight your way down to the catch. You have to find the guy and you have to go kill him basically and between you and the ship there is a bunch of hive bunch of ogres i don't know why the hell they're fighting each other they're kind of just like pissed off i haven't got a clue what's going on we kind of just like ran in started shooting people up i didn't really listen to what the woman was saying but like i said the full version is in the description down below if you want to listen to it and then we get to this uh, area i'm sure some of you have actually been here before where you like glitch out the map and you can actually go up into the ship but uh, when you get here, there's a bunch of fallen, and uh, well, just look at the size of that freaking ship, it's huge. And you have to fight a bunch of enemies, it's, it's pretty easy, like, it's not the hardest strike in the world, it's just annoying. Like, the amount of waves of enemies you have to fight, it's not like the Nexus, where you can literally kill three enemies, run straight to the boss, and you're done. You have to do a bunch of stuff to actually kill them, man, it's, it's, yeah, I don't really, I don't know what my thoughts on it are, yeah, I still need to play it. We only played it once, like, and it was on the easiest difficulty. But uh, he is pretty easy to kill. His name is Tanix the Scarred. He is Archon Priest V2, I like to call him. He has the uh, Scorch Cannon and the stupid teleport. But uh, once you have finished on the moon, it will teleport you up into the ship. I'm sure most of you have actually been here before. You can walk around. Uh, it has all the fallen walkers all over the place. It's an awesome ship, like. It's cool that it was already in the game, like. Uh, a lot of people were complaining, that, oh, it's already in the game. We shouldn't have to pay for it, blah, 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 whatever. But uh, it is a nice little area. I like the way they designed it with the smoke and all the freaking fallen walls and shizzle. Obviously, you can tell this is a fallen ship because of all the crates. Whenever I see crates, I'm like, yep, yeah, this is fallen. Crates confirmed. But this place is actually called the Traitor's Catch. I'm not sure if I said that right earlier. But uh, yeah, it's basically a huge fallen ship which you are inside of. But uh, when you get into this first area, he's going to come out again with a bunch of enemies. Finish off the wave of enemies, just snipe him, kill him. I recommend using the black armor, just sitting back, getting them crit shots on him. And if you have a titan, obviously use weapons of light and it'll be much, much easier. One more thing, weapons of light does not affect rocket launchers. I've knew this for a while now, but a lot of people don't actually know this. But weapons of light does not actually affect rockets, only snipers. So keep that in mind. Uh, when you get to the next area, you're going to come to this huge area like here. And there's just like a huge obvious platform over there which i was like i know what's gonna happen there's gonna be a huge fallen walker which drops out of the sky which is exactly what happens but before that happens you're gonna have to fight off waves of enemies and then as soon as you've done all the waves of enemies a wolf walker will spawn and you are fighting in the most cramped of spaces like just sit behind this wall here on the left like we were doing do not go to the right because on the right there are exploding shanks and this freaking tank that shoots at you every two seconds. So make sure you're on the left and do not go to the right like I did. But uh, yeah, look at these exploding shanks. They literally just fly into you and explode like kamikaze pilots. Uh, everybody in the room was like, holy shit, exploding shanks. And then Bungie was just like laughing at everybody. But uh, you heard it like progressively as each uh, group would get to that point. They'd be like, exploding shanks, oh my god. And then the next group would be like, oh shit, exploding shanks. You knew they were getting to this spot when everybody was screaming it. And it was just so freaking funny. But I think we were one of the first groups to actually get to it. And we actually shouted it out and everyone was like, what? <laughs> so it was pretty fun to see for the first time. But uh, yeah, once you've killed the... Uh, Wolf Walker, you can proceed to the next area. Uh, I think there's like an extra little wave here that spawns before we go out. It kind of like caught us off guard. 
But uh, after we've done that, you go down the corridor, and this guy's literally... I ran around the corner, and he was just standing there. I don't know what he's doing. He's just making some tea or something. But I walked straight into him, and I was like, holy freaking shit, he's right there. But after you've whittled his health down once more, you come to the final fighting area where he cannot run any further. Uh, it's a nice little fighting area, and good if you have Galahorn. Make sure you use Galahorn. Make sure everybody on your team has a Galahorn if you don't. Go and find one. People are going to need it for this and the Prison of Elders. But once you have whittled his health down once more, he's really, really easy to kill. Just think of him like the Archon Priest. Uh, he dies pretty easily because all he does is stand still and shoot his stupid shotgun. But once you have killed him, he will drop the Scorch Cannon. I actually did a video on this. So if you want to see that video, make sure to click the video on screen. If you guys enjoyed the video and my terrible commentary, make sure to drop a like down below. I kind of need to practice doing long commentaries because I'm really, really bad at them. But tell me what you guys thought. If you'd like this strike, if you're going to be skipping it when you see it on the playlist. But uh, yeah, let me know. I will see you guys in a video probably later today maybe or tomorrow. It depends on how I'm feeling and how well the House of Wolves videos are doing. But make sure to subscribe as I'll be posting exclusive House of Wolves videos that not many people have. And obviously, like I said, drop a like and I'll see you guys then. This has been Willis Gaming and peace.